my films are always personal. Nope. Stands hey up guys, how you doing? This is your host, Tunde Show, back with another I'm reaction. Sure. And um, as you know, I'm looking forward to Nope. I'm a huge fan of Jordan Peele. And um, we have a film uh, behind the scenes, actually. It's a Nope official IMAX behind the scenes 2022 Jordan Peele. That's the name of the video. So we're going to react to that. It's about 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 a minute and 45 and we're going to talk about it, you know, cause Nope is coming out this weekend and I'm probably going to see it, uh, before it comes out. I might see it with the AMC crew or I might see it with a, a friend or whatever, you know, I had planned, uh, to see this movie with who I reacted, um, uh, to it with, but unfortunately that's not going to happen. So guys, I'm excited for this. Uh, let's watch it. Let's talk about what we think will happen. I still think that there's going to be um, some kind, some form of time travel involved because I, I listened to an interview or read an interview with Jordan Peele saying something about wanting to make a time travel film. So um, I'm not letting go of that. I'll die with it in the end if I'm wrong. I do understand that it is a sci-fi alien movie. But at the same time, I know he always has twists, you know, and I appreciate all the twists that he has. There's always a deeper meaning. And I'm going to hold on to this time, uh, time travel thing that I got in my, in my, in my brain right now. So yeah, let's just cut to the chase, watch this, uh, reaction and let's talk about it. And here we go. All right. My films are always personal. Nope stands apart from my other films in that it's a bigger adventure than I've ever tried to tell. From a filmmaking perspective, by far my most ambitious. I'm actually. Oh, yes. Holy shit. What's a bad miracle? They got work for that. I purposely wrote something without any regard to how possible it was. I know he said this could have been made five years ago. Thankfully, the great Hoyte von Hoytema, one of the best cinematographers and the mastermind behind some of my favorite films and favorite imagery, responded to the script and the challenges. It was a very exhilarating ride. Always creative, fun, never scared, and always pushing. In the scope of what we could do, this is made for a big screen. We shot on IMAX cameras, and we were not shy of doing very extreme or crazy things with those cameras. When you're shooting on IMAX, you just know you're doing something cinematically special. Yes, baby. The image is so overwhelming. It feels like you're there. I wanted immersion. A awe and a fear and a wonder we all had when we were kids. Yes. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, yes! nah, nope. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Woo! Wow, he's been real tight lip about this film, man. Guys, I just want to say I'm super excited, man. Like, he's so tight lipped around this. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So yeah, this 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 man Jordan Peele is so tight lipped around this um project. I feel like there's so much that could be revealed um if he said anything at all. So I appreciate him keeping quiet with this. Um this is my most antip anticipated film of the year. Um I was uh excited for Thor, Love and Thunder, and uh I actually like Ragnarok better. I appreciate the love and the thunder, but I feel like Taika Waititi took it a little bit to, uh, may, it, 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 it didn't feel like a Thor movie. It felt like, it felt like a comedy. It felt like, you know, what was that movie that, that show that he does, uh, what we do in the dark or something like that, that, that vampire monsters, werewolves type show that he's doing. Um, and, or, or maybe, uh, Jojo rabbit, you know, but it, it just, even though there was action and it was an amazing, brilliant performance by Christian Bale, Gore the God Butcher, um, I, I really feel like it needed more gore. You know, we needed a lot more gore. He, he pretty much gave like a Heath Ledger type performance, you know, in his own way. 
and it was beautiful. You know, we could have used a lot more of that. Um, so, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited for, um, uh, I don't even know why, how I got all up in that, you know, oh yeah, I was talking about my most ant anticipated films. One of them was that, uh, another one was Dr. Strange. It was kind of like, it was okay. I watched it a lot of times, but it was kind of mediocre. And then, and then we have, um, uh, Jordan Peele's, uh, Nope. You know, there's a couple other films that popped up in my radar that I'm excited about too. Beast with Idris Alba. I want to see that as well. But really, Nope takes the cake, man. You know, I l really loved his uh, work on Get Out. You know, it was a think piece, you know, where um, we literally would sit down and just break down every single scene and the meaning that it has. And we had Us that was also multi-layered as well. It wasn't received as well as uh, as Get Out, um, but then now we have his third installment of Nope, which I feel like is going to rock the world. He's elevated his um, his process. You know, he's shooting in IMAX now, and it's a much bigger scope. You know, even though it's still simple, you know, he probably still kept it uh, under a good budget. You know, which he's really good at. Um, especially kind of like how Bloom House is really good at putting out those like really good stories, you know, being shot for like 10, 12, 20 million dollars and then making a shitload of money in the box office. Um, but yeah, man, like I'm, 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 I'm really excited for this film. Um, I'm eager, um, you know, to experience the performance of, uh, Daniel Kulia, Kalua. Um, you know that he didn't. Um, he's not returning in Black Panther and he wanted it because of scheduling con conflicts with Nope. And I feel like he made a good decision. He made a good choice. I mean, like his character in um, Black Panther was, wasn't really, um, it wasn't really that significant of a, of a role, you know, um, he turned bad a little bit in the last one and then came back good again, you know, um, uh, um, you know, with his wife, um, the woman from Walking Dead. I believe that was Okoye. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so like he made a good decision coming, um, you know, with what he did. And I know that Get Out pretty much made and blew up his career. Jordan Peele's love, loves watching him act, loves his work. He's pretty much becoming kind of like the Neo, Leonardo DiCaprio to, you know, um, like the Leonardo DiCaprio to like, uh, or, or is it Leonardo DiCaprio or Sam Jackson? Or is it Sam Jackson to like a Quentin Tarantino film? You know, those, uh, directors that like to work with the same actor over and over and over because they love their relationship. Well, he has that kind of bond with Jordan Peele and he's smart for taking it, um, for, for staying on this role. Um, but yeah, guys, like the visuals are amazing. I'm really curious what's going to happen. Like, is it abducting like only black people? Because he did say he couldn't have made this five years ago. But he he also said he said it's because they wouldn't have trusted, you know, a person of color to um, make money with something like this. You know, so I'm glad that he had to get out. He had the us. He showed what he could do. And right now he's one of the greatest filmmakers right now and he's only he's only dropped three films i mean like everything else he's done has been pretty much um uh comedy you know we've known him from key and peel skits skits and sketches and now he's all grayed out and everything <laughs> looking like a scholar you know what i'm saying dropping these gems for us and i'm super excited guys um let me know what parts of this trailer is fun and exciting for you is it kiki palmer you know what i'm saying is it daniel Kalua? You know what I mean? Is it Jordan Peele's work? You know, anything that you see that stands out? Is it the cinematography? Um, let me know in the comment section. Let me know how excited you are. If you're seeing it, what day you're seeing it. And um, hit a like, subscribe, the notification bell, and we'll see you guys next time on Movie Lingo. I'm out. <laughs>